In this video, I will introduce the concept of an ordered pair. An ordered pair is an object with two elements, let's say they are called A and B, and then we usually write out the ordered pair as AB enclosed within brackets. And for any two ordered pairs, let's say we have the ordered pair AB and the ordered pair CD, these two ordered pairs are only considered equal if and only if A is equal to C and B is equal to D. With this definition, you can see that the ordering of elements matter for ordered pairs. So AB and BA are actually two separate different entities, and they're only the same if and only if A is equal to B. For example, the ordered pair 1, 2 is actually different from the ordered pair 2, 1, because 1 is not equal to 2, and 2 is not equal to 1. And since it does not satisfy this definition of equality, these two ordered pairs are actually different. And you can contrast this uh, concept with a set. Using the definition of equality for a set, you can verify that the set AB is actually the same thing as the set BA. So you can see that for sets, the ordering does not matter. But the ordering does matter for an ordered pair, and hence its name, an ordered pair. So before I end this video, I'm just going to add some concluding remarks. So far, we've basically assumed that for any two given objects, A and B, the ordered pair AB exists. But in mathematics, we like to derive new concepts out of existing ones. And it is actually possible for us to define an ordered pair in terms of sets. So here's the definition. We define the ordered pair AB to be the set consisting of the set which consists of A, as well as the set consisting of both A and B. And using the definition of set equality, as well as this definition, we can actually prove that AB is equal to CD if and only if A is equal to C and B is equal to D, which is exactly what we want for ordered pairs. And the proof that this definition leads to this result is a little uh, tedious and repetitive, so I'll not prove it for you, since it's not the focus of this video. And one thing you should keep in mind is that this definition here is by no means unique. There are other ways to define ordered pairs in terms of sets, but this definition is the most popular one. And now one last remark before I end this video. An ordered pair is also called a two-tuple. So a tuple is simply an ordered list of objects. So it's possible to have a n-tuple, which is really just an ordered collection of n objects. So you have an ordered collection of n objects, and we call this an n-tuple. So just keep in mind that an ordered pair is a special case of the more general concept of a tuple.